So, same day, another little video for you lucky people. Today we are continuing the Cabadachi or clump style tree. Check my microphone's on, I think it is. I'll link a video now. Is The first bonsai that I ever did was a load of oak saplings. Uh, these are sweet chestnut, um, but it was a load of oaks that I grew in a pot just like this. And then I saw uh, ASAM bonsai did a video on how to start a cavadachi or clump style and then yeah it kind of led on through that watch that video to get an understanding of the clump style but we're replicating that again today with another native species here in Cornwall the sweet chestnut um, why have I got two parts one that's just a, a big cutting I'm trying to grow but I'll show you this one this is also a sweet chestnut but uh, last year it sprouted grew and then we had a late frost and the leaves died off it's still got a leaf on it and then it i thought it was dead so i left it in a corner somewhere and forgot about it but it grew and then it did this little shoot just in the last couple of months of the uh, growing season and it's put on a really different kind of bark to the rest of these saplings so i thought that was quite interesting so i think i'm gonna Pop that one up separate. I think I've got what we got. This one's got two on it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, seven would probably be better. We'll, we'll figure that out in a minute, but basically that's why there's these two. So we'll just get these ready. So I won't go through the whole process, but just in case you haven't watched the other video or you're going to watch it after this video, uh, the Cabadachi or Clump style is just about combining saplings together to try and create an overall thicker tree that over time will fuse together and um, become more bonsai-like quicker. So I'm going to get all these sort of bare-rooted so that we can try and get them together. It's raining. It's raining. Rain check, I'll be right back. Let's check these in there for now. 20 minutes later. And we're good again. Sorry about that rude interruption from Mother Nature there. Uh, so this is what we've ended up with once I've separated them. In fact, a couple of them that are actually two trees. It just grew really close together, so there's two more there. Brilliant. Uh, this one, it's quite, that's the, probably the strongest one. I thought I saw something else. Ah, those two, they've just come apart there. So yeah, I'm just going to get these roots washed out. So when I did my oak Cabadachi style, um, I didn't know what a net pot was and ended up reusing the same uh, flower pot but I just poked loads of holes in and I basically made a net pot but I didn't know that's what I was doing at the time. So now we've got a net pot. I want to see if I can possibly adopt one of Alex's techniques. That's literally just going to not fit in there isn't it? Okay so that's unfortunately out of the question. That would have been good because you can plant them on top in the pot and it will force the roots to grow out. What I've got instead then is some large flat rocks that I've collected. So that one's that one's a good size. So we're going to put a rock in the pot about halfway and then when we sit these on top it's going to force the roots to grow laterally over the rock and then down. So next I kind of want to show you an example. So when we're done with the trees, it will sit in there. We'll do that in a minute. I'm going to show you one example of how I'm going to get these trees ready to sit on this rock. Because obviously that's not very good. So what I'm looking for is the thickness, the taper of the beginning of these trees. Um, any interesting features. And then I'm looking for a good cut off point to try and make it lateral. So this tree's got some healthy roots down here. This is just a tap root. So I know I'm fairly confident. You can take your concave pruners and take that off, which makes this a lot better. Just because we're here, why not? Let's do another one. So this one, I want it to sit flat. This one's got a really nice uh, radial spread there. 
and then a tap root that comes down. So we can go in with the concave pruners. Take that one off. Now all of a sudden that sits on there. You, you get the point. Next what I'm doing is I'm pairing these together in a way where they fit. And so the next point that I want to explain about this particular species is I want to try and plant them in a way where the uh, this trunk that I'm creating sort of slowly spirals. I'll insert a clip now next time I go take the dog for a walk. There's some huge ones in the park really close to us and they're absolutely beautiful trees. You know, the one in the park is, you know, upwards of 400 years old and over time the, you'll see the bark they start to just spiral up really majestically it's really cool it's a great thing that the species does and i'm going to try and replicate that in this design um, just by slowly getting these to sort of see how i want to try and replicate that spiral in effect um, i don't know if i want to add this one it's got a really interesting bit of movement there so that one's not really ideal for this planting so we've got one two three four five five trees is that enough for a kabadachi might be slightly smaller obviously i've only got the that one other tree which is quite small if i'm honest but doesn't have as much isn't as interesting as this tree so let me just do the same thing as these. When we're trying to create the Kabodachi style, what we're doing is we're creating multiple saplings, you know, with little value on their own to create something, you know, special of its own accord. So these two are separated. This one isn't good for this planting because these on their own, they are special. They've got characteristics that make them stand out. This one has really nice root spread and great movement right up the center of the trunk. It has great different bark texture. It stands out. So to put this in the planting wouldn't really make sense. This one as well, it would stand out. It'd be too obvious, too different from the unison that we're trying to create with this. So we're going to have to go with the five trees. The wind has picked up a bit, but trust me, that wasn't very pretty to watch. But what I've ended up with, uh, I can probably take this wire off now. Uh, I'll probably leave it on actually and we'll just keep an eye on it as the year goes on. If it starts to bite in, I'll take the wire off. But I've just used this nylon rope and I've just knotted it underneath the stone. And this gives us the perfect opportunity now to comb out the roots, make sure they're nice and radial, nothing's crossing over each other. And we've got some roots here that have gone under the rope that we don't really want. And you kind of, you get the point is what I'm trying to say. You get the point. You see where we go. That in there, soil done. So now we can just fill in with some soil. So it's not really any air pockets to poke in. We will do some, but uh, there's not too much to worry about because uh, the roots are flat. Different soil mix that I have here. Add that in as well. Um, so this is kind of a bit of an updated Cabodachi technique. Um, I think I did try my best with the oak and I'm happy with it. Um, I'm going to leave that alone for another year so I can't really look at it at the minute. Um, but this is just another way to do it. Obviously using the net pot to air prune the roots as they grow and poke out. And I don't know. I just think this is a probably a better more informative video and just to show you that you can do it with other species I'm doing it with obviously lots of native species um, I'm sure this works with others it's just really interesting to be honest the different ways that we can achieve our, our bonsai so Cabadachi sweet chestnut trees. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with how this tree gets on. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to help the channel, the link to our Amazon wish list is in the description below. Other than that, wherever you are in the world, make sure you take care of yourself. 
I'll see you in the next one, guys.